if you do some directly changes uh, in the managed business configuration then we will end up with some application error it will not sync okay example so if i added any dg filter in the instance level so whichever configuration i have done in the uh, data succession data model i was imported if you do any changes directly in the instance level all my previous configuration it will be overwritten okay even recent project also it is happened okay so i was imported using the dg filter like this but one of our other colleague so they have done the changes directly in the managed business configuration they are not aware of that what I have done so it was completely overwritten however we had a bad backup right so just we had re-imported okay so because of that reason syncing is not happening between managed business configuration and succession data model okay so sometimes if you are not very much sh uh, sure about what you are doing in the instance so you just follow you can have the backup of uh, data model succession data model then you can do the changes if you find any error just you can import the previous file okay so these are some of the main section we have in the succession data model so let's have a discussion one by one so first i will start with the uh, uh, hrs element which is related to ported so how we can add the custom field how we can make it as a mandatory field how we can make it as a man optional field all those things so first let me export the data model from the provisioning so click on import and export data model so instead of uh, import here just click on export data model click on submit so now it's downloaded go to the download so now you need to go to the EC element that is called HRS element. So then I need to drag till I need to get that one. Otherwise, we already had a discussion. Just go to the table view is one of the first way we can go to that place. Click a succession data model. Uh, click on HRS element. So click on personal information. The personal information is nothing but biographical information. Sorry, person information is nothing but. Uh, biographical information the personal information is related to person like first name last name okay come to the source so if you see here blue color line is there for hrs element this is this is the way with the starting point till it goes to the end point so at the end if you see hrs element is open now okay so we don't have the closing so for end of the respective element you should find like this closing one okay greater uh, lesser than forward slash so now this is the beginning so that is why it started uh, with hrs element of lesser than so if you go till down So here is the end okay so again I'm going back to that place so click on HRS element so again click on personal information click on source okay so again we got into the exact place so if you click on label system it will show only the respective line so however if you click on the field so inside the hrs element we have the hrs field so again the blue line it will start from the hrs field to end of that field only okay so now if you need to change any of the label so consider that wherever you see label this one by default it is in english okay so if you want to define for any of the respective country language then you have to define with this code okay all these codes are we can get it from the provisioning or once you start uh, using the data model you will come to know otherwise you can just come to this place provisioning 
under company setting so we can get all the codes of respective language okay see here we have the code so now assume that so i copied this one so i will insert another one Away for instance of GB, I will mention US. Then what happen if you define like this? If you given the different name here, the system it will ignore from this place, and system it will take from this is the field name because we have specifically mentioned to the respective language that is for US. So if you are not defined US, then system it will take it from this is the default English. Okay, so in one of the certification questions, they have one of the questions related like this for considering China, German, like this. So you need to properly analyze and put the correct answer. Now, so here we have visibility equal to both. It means that at UI level or when you are hiring an employee, after hiring an employee, we can, you can edit the person number. Okay, if you put it as a view, you cannot edit the field. It's automatically should, we need to write the, some logic where the system automatically create the, the personal ID for the respective employee or we need to do the import, we, we could do import option. Okay, so if you put it as a syntax like, like this, required equal to true. Then it's a mandatory, when you're hiring an employee, you have to mention the, the personal number then only you can go to the further step okay so pi is nothing but hiding from the for eyes example if you don't want to disclose your uh, uh, pan card other card for india or for if i take example for us so social security number if i put the pi equal to true if someone is standing behind you if you opened your screen so national identity will show it as a star mark However, once you click on edit mode, you are able to see the actual values. Okay, so that is the concept of PI or we are calling as a UL when you are, when we are doing the configuration, manage business configuration, we have something called mask. So we, there we need to put SR mode. So in the data model for you, it's like, look like it's very complex when you beginning, but however, in the manage business configuration, you just like SR no options. So visibility, we can select read, edit or both sorry you read only uh, edit for required true or false only the two values even for the mask s or no values will be there okay so assume that you would like to add one custom field now okay so here data for this so let me open the instance then now uh, we'll come to know so take any one uh, employee, David. Okay, so we have don't have permission, so we need to set up the permission. So I come to my role, our demo role. So we have selected everything. I think we have missed something on M5 view. So I will select all this one. Later we'll discuss. Click on done. Click on save changes. So now I got the access. So we have missed that employee view. So that we'll discuss later. So if I go to personal information. So if you go to little bit bottom, you remember. So PI is nice. It look like this all star symbol so we no one could see my personal id or employee id however if you go to edit mode so we are able to see our actual personal id so all the mandatory fields if you put it the system it will show with red color star mark so cancel it now you